be asking for the help of residents to help us clear snow from their piles in, in, and pile it in our uh, parkways. Snow should never be pushed into the street. Residents can also assist us by making sure that their garbage carts are kept clear for snow uh, garbage collection in the next few days. The next few days could be challenging and we welcome any assistance the public can lend to us. Thank you. I'd like to bring up Terry Mazzini, CEO of Chicago Public Schools. The Chicago Public Schools has been carefully monitoring the weather conditions and we've been meeting internally on an hourly basis to review our plans for the snow emergency and as stated yesterday our decisions are guided to ensure safety and security of all of our students. Earlier today, the district canceled all after-school programming, including elementary and high school, sports, driver's education, extended day preschool, and park district CPS programs. Our facilities and operations teams are working on their plans to ensure that our buildings are cleared of snow and ice, bus staging areas are cleared, and snow removal equipment is adequately stocked at all schools. Uh, we are being proactive as possible, seriously considering the implications of these decisions, the impact that they have on families, students, and our staff. As we stated, that safety would guide our decisions on school closing, and at this time, as uh, the mayor indicated, based on the anticipation of very severe and dangerous weather conditions that could be harmful to students in their commute and their routine school day, uh, we cannot compromise and risk their safety. Therefore, we decided to cancel school for tomorrow. All central office employees, principals, assistant principals, lunchroom managers, engineers, custodians, and security personnel are requested to report to school. Teachers, paraprofessionals, and other school staff will be excused. All administrative personnel working in the area offices will also be requested to report to work. I want to thank in advance all of our staff for the hard work that they've been doing to respond to these conditions, and I have no doubt that they'll continue to do their best to ensure safety and well-being of our students in the days to come. I want to advise parents and guardians to continue to monitor weather conditions after tomorrow because weather conditions will have an impact on transportation in the days to come. Uh, we have also assigned a CPS staff member to be stationed at the Joint Operations Center to provide real-time information to the Student Safety Center uh, from the Office of Emergency Management. Uh, we continue to update our CPS Snow Center information at our website, www.cps.edu, and that information is available in real time to help guide parents. I'd like to bring up Cheryl Hyman, Chancellor of City, City Colleges of Chicago. This morning, the City Colleges of Chicago notified all faculty, staff, and students that we would be canceling all classes and events and closing all facilities at 2 p.m. today in order to give everyone time to get home safely before the storm sets in. We also proactively canceled all classes and events for all day Wednesday based on what we know about this storm and hope to resume normal schedules on Thursday morning. We will keep essential personnel at our facilities, which include security and engineering staff. City Colleges also has five daycare centers. Those facilities will be staffed today until every child